Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Lane episode number 7. Okay, I apologize because I have been a little inconsistent with my Lane episode reactions. Uh, I was a little bit busy for a couple of days before. That's why, like, especially on this day, I was unable to, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like, record my video and do, like, you know, my reaction to Lane. But from now on, uh, I'm, like, you know, like, I'm a bit free now. So I will probably be able to... Uh, complete this on time and I'll, I'll probably uh, the last episode I'll probably uh, record the last two episodes and uh, in one day and release it like episode 12 and 13 it will be something like that so that my like, you know, schedule does not get kind of you know misaligned because I have some stuff that I want to react to in the next season so since I was a, like you know late in uh, reacting to this and uh, it was like my inconsistent schedule kind of messed it up so i might tr try to make that up by like, you know uh, merging two episodes in one reaction something like that but that's uh, like you know for later on so for now like i'll like you know i'll upload every each and every day from this day onwards so that's that anyways okay so this is episode number uh, seven of serial experiments lane now uh, the previous episode i have to say a few things got cleared up completely uh, first of all uh the whole uh what do you call it like the knights situation what they are and what their goal is we kind of understood that they are probably not our friends you know like they are actually trying to use the kids to make another like you know chaotic situation or something they're trying to do something and the doctor who made the kids uh he like you know told everything to lane how like, you know what it is supposed to be like you know what it does and how like you know after even after he like smashed it to bits uh, it was collected somehow by the knights and now they're using it for their own stuff so like a lot of things got explained and like a, a, a structure of what's actually happening is kind of forming in my head i'm sure we're going to get more qualifications in the future now another thing we got to know is the men in black the two guys uh they they're probably not from the knights because they actually uh uh, what do you call it like uh, try to warn and uh, not warn but you know they kind of warned uh um, lane and said that the coolant is bugged uh, like a parasite is you know, in there and if so that means they're actually trying to help lane i think so at least so who knows maybe they're not the knights like we're not sure but yeah so let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started this is episode number seven of serial experiments lane Excuse me, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. And oh, also another thing we got to know the previous episode. Lane is a pretty big deal in the wired, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know, some kind of celebrity most probably. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's something. All right.
Okay, let's see. <laughs> the familiar scene, every episode, it starts like this and... Yeah. This... What's happening? What's I do? Hmm. Society. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's see what Lane is doing. Whoa! What is this? What the? Um, what is that? Oh, uh, it was, I think. She's literally saying that those two are different people. Um, hello, what the? Oh, yeah, this is that. That's this is not the actual sister, isn't it? Like, it's like an empty shell. Ah. Huh. Creepy. <laughs> well, we're used to this. Yeah. Warning. Whoa, whoa, what the? That's right. This is a real life footage. Damn, this is... Um, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Whoa, he has a portable <laughs> system in his back. And he has an umbrella as well. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, my motor. Um. What? All right. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, that was weird. Lane doing her stuff. <laughs> Friends are like, what is even happening to the girl that we knew all along? What? Wait, who is this? All right, a lot of people are actually doing that. Like, you know, the thing that we saw. Here. Hmm. 
Oh, the friend. Forgot her name. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What well, what's happening with to her? Weird interactions. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. Um, previous episode was okay. Currently in disarray. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Unknown. Development and distribution of illegal information devices. Such as no matches. Wait, wasn't she supposed to be famous? Metaphors. Yeah, she is a pretty big deal, that means, in the wire. What the? People are. Suspecting each other now. Um, another delivery? Wait, who is this? Hmm. Oh God. <laughs> oh boy. Um <laughs> Well Hmm Whoa, what is that? Oh my god, she's one of those people. Okay. <laughs> she's acting as if she doesn't know to do anything with the Navi, but she... <laughs> okay. Oh boy, here they are again. Okay, I don't think they are um, dangerous. I'm, I think they're just keeping an eye on the plane. 
Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, request. Okay. Physically, what? What type of word choice is that? Their eyes. Okay. Yeah, we need some answers. Breaking the barrier. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's still. Oh, they're trying to. Okay. Accept it. What? Whoa. Hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm still confused about a few things, but I'm sure we're good. That's creepy. I'm sure, we're going to get some answers here. Hope so, at least, because they said that they're going to give us some answers. That's even a general laboratory. What? Oh. And that's quite an old machine, true. Wait, wait, is this? No, no. What? This doesn't have anything to do with age. What? <laughs> she's so good with the machines now. You know, like, so that she wasn't even. There you go. What? Uh... Wait, so the lane in the wire is a knight? Wait, what? Just a sec. I don't think that's intentional, like, yeah, okay.
Hmm. Direct. Yeah, he was. She was talking, wasn't she? Before. Hmm. Oh, what? Um, some answers, please. He was the god, yeah. What the? Whoa, whoa, it's, it's that lady! That we saw! I don't know... It's sweating, so it's like it's like a her subconscious doing what? Oh no no, the, he, she's talking about the like you know like okay. Oh boy. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Wait, so she does have multiple personality or something like that. Like, this is clearly something like that, I can see. Hmm. <laughs> Damn the way he called it. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> oh boy, Carl. What? Didn't you say that you have to stop it? Wait, so this lady here, I think she's she's also one of the knights, isn't she? I have to check that portion again. Hmm. Oh boy, this guy. Yeah. Ah, well, he tried to go too much into the secret. You know, he, he tried to mess with it too much. So now he's. Uh, I'm guessing this is the sign of the knights or something. 
There you go. Oh boy. Well, okay. At the beginning, I was kind of confused with this episode. Then it kind of started making sense by the end of it. When they started actually talking, you know, <laughs> like the main thing that makes this show really confusing is the lack of conversation. You know, like <laughs> we have to actually guess stuff from what they are, like, you know, um, showing us and how they are behaving, the characters. So here, this episode was kind of clear cut in that department. They basically told us everything. Like, you know, like, and we also saw the transformation scene of one thing to another. The whole laying from the wired and the laying from this world, that thing. So, like, obviously that's been apparent from a whole long while that there are two lanes, most probably. Like, you know, there's that one lane who is very direct, very outgoing, and, like, you know, very expressive. And there's this other lane which we knew in the beginning, who was kind of... You know, quiet and uh, what do you call it? Like, you know, it was stoic, that type of a character. So, I'm not sure if that's multiple personality disorder, or if it is something that is specific to this anime where they are basically saying that the persona in the wild is kind of coming to this world. Like, the boundary is getting more vaguer and vaguer of the wild and the real world. So it's probably something like that or either or it's something like it's a multiple personality disorder. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get more clues in the your episodes what is actually happening. But we can kind of uh, make a guess now. So alright so here okay so in the beginning uh, we see Lane like you know messing with her computers and stuff and there she's actually talking uh, to someone now here's the thing I'm not so sure if the person that they were she was talking with was um, I don't think they are the knights because in the previous episode we basically saw Lane got very angry at the knights by the end of it you know, and she said something like like you know you tricked me and all that stuff and you know they also tried to use the parasite to uh, mess with her so i doubt she's talking with the knights but she is talking with someone who's pretty familiar with what's happening because they were talking about the lane in the wired and the lane in the real world so i'm guessing they kind of switch with each other you know like whenever the uh, lane goes into the wired she becomes the lane in the wired you know the outgoing lane and he is also able to switch in her character in the real world as well because you know like as they said the boundary is getting thinner and thinner that's why uh even though by the end of it as we see lane is kind of freaking out whenever like you know uh, they're asking him that you do you know uh like, you know the knights do you know like they were like questioning her and stuff and so she was sweating and everything because I'm sure she does not actually know that there's like a another personality that's I think so at least that she's unaware of the fact that there's a completely different lane in the wired but most probably in her subconscious she actually feels it and she acts she's actually feeling the weird stuff that's are that are happening that's why when she was being questioned she was sweating and kind of like you know freaking out because even though she herself is unable uh, to tell the answers, unable to understand what's happening, um, her subconscious knows that something is wrong. And in front of the questioning, the, the multiple questions that they were asking her, she was freaking out because of the disparity between her own knowledge and what she's feeling. So, I don't know. That's just how I interpret the situation. I might be wrong. I'm sure we're going to get more answers because I'm talking about this uh, from the uh, what do you call it uh, from the notion that lane this lane the original lane does not know anything about the wired lane I might be wrong though it might be so that this lane actually knows about the wired lane so as I said like you know this is just a guess that I may, I'm making at this point which might be true might not be true so in the future episodes, I'm sure they're going to answer it more clearly. 
but anyways okay here and now the sister speaking on her said something i don't know what the hell she said but now this is something that we saw before that the sister kind of was you know transported into a completely different place you know she's kind of tripping in a way weird stuff were happening and when she came back home she actually saw that there's another person who is completely like her who's walking around in her house so like and that person is completely devoid of emotions weird completely so now this is something that i think has been happening for quite a while not only them but i'm sure there are a lot of people are also suffering from this who are uh, interconnected with the wired or something i don't know but uh, another person who is similar to her sister in the department i think is the mother because the mother also kind of walk talks and acts really weird you know like it's like devoid of emotions so i'm thinking most probably the mother also went through such some type of a situation like that you know like where she found out that her inner like you know her inner persona or inner thing you know her inner uh, feelings and all you know kind of separated from the outer body and the outer body is like basically a shell without any emotions anything just like you know repeating the daily work that they do and you know she's unable to get back into her body or something i think so at least but i might be wrong i'm not so sure about the dad because the, i've seen the dad actually expressing a few emotions but she he's also kind of weird so the dad might have also went through something like that uh i don't know so and another thing that kind of confirms this is when uh, the people were asking Lane that do you know your mom do you know your dad like you know like us asking all these type of questions are they really your mom are they really your dad all these questions uh so i think that kind of implies it more that the people that there's we are seeing in front of us uh, we know that the sister is a different sister but we don't know anything about the mom and dad so this i'm sure this kind of implies that it's also the same case with the mom and the dad they're also someone different than their original mom and dad because they're so devoid of emotions like they like they're, they're really weird especially the mom the mom is i think the mom is the mo weirdest in this whole like you know family like i don't know why <laughs> like she freaks me out <laughs> but anyways so yeah like that's just what i think we'll see okay and then uh, we are seeing that people are actually okay what is this thing like there's this guy in the in an office talking with that lady you know like he he goes to okay here it is goes to his uh, mailbox i think this is there are few of few files here and he he clicks at mail k n m e s happy that's the name and then he is in a weird program and i think that's the knights logo i'm not sure i might be wrong though no the logo it kind of starts showing just a sec let me just check that logo again i think that is probably the knights logo okay let's see yeah a little triangle you know not a triangle but a kind of a diamond shape with uh yeah that's that's most probably some kind of a logo i'm still not sure if that's the light nice logo or not but it is some kind of a logo so so that guy is in involved in that now okay that's that and okay now just a sec okay we see like lane doing her stuff in school messing with the i think that's the other lane you know the wired lane that's uh in her body now i think so because this lane the, the wired lane is very proficient with uh technology so i think this is the other lane but i'm guessing he's okay okay the next scene he is another guy, a guy who's like eating potato chips and stuff, who 
also has the logo in his computer screen and he's laughing that's right you morons i'm better than you uh okay i'm not sure if that guy is also in the nice or if he's trying to hack them or something i don't know but he is connected with them as well okay now the lane in the roof here now here's the thing that i'm a little bit confused about is this the original lane or is this the wired lane i think this is the original lane isn't it i think so because uh, uh the, the friend says that you're going back to your original self again if you're slipping again so i think this is the original like you know soft spoken lane i think so yeah so she was basically like so she was the other lane in the classroom and when she comes in the roof she has changed that means i don't know so she's kind of doing this like you know like kind of uh changing like from one personality to another like all the time all right and okay so then the next scene there's this lady you know who has uh asked for like you know some kind of delivery and she gets a package okay all right and yeah she gets a package with that logo again and she's saying stuff like the wired and the real world are all the same and all that stuff so okay that's that then there's this weird guy who is actually trying to like you know uh, get some contact with the knights so that they can take him in or something he's saying stuff like you know like i'm i'm worthy of death or something like that let me into the knights I tracked you down all on my own. This is your, yeah. Come on, make me one of you. It's very dress desperate and, you know, asking the knights. And then Lane's face pops up. Okay, that's that was kind of another like you know weird thing which I'm going to talk about. Now the next scene, uh, they go to a place with the uh, those men, and. No, wait a minute. No, no, I might be. Oh, okay. okay, I think I made a mistake. Here, there's one thing. Like as I, I said in the previous, like you know, scene that the person, the lane who we saw in the classroom, where was uh the lane from the wired, because he was kind of like you know proficient with technology. Like if that's the case, then in this scene, it's weird here because this lane is the original lane. The soft-spoken lane so she, when she, she's being asked by that guy to like help him with the computer she does it very easily so that does not so that means that no like the one proficient with the computer i'm guessing it's all of them both of them otherwise this doesn't make sense because if the lane here is we are sure i'm sure of it that the lane that here that we see is the original soft-spoken lane so that lane also is good is good with the computers now because we see that he was able to uh, help the guy with his problem in his pc so yeah because and then we also see her switch personality so this was the soft spoken the original lane who changes to the lane from the wired so the skill for the technology computers is not any way connected to the to the lane like you know whether it's a wired lane or the original lane i think both of them has the same amount of um you know skill i think so so that means uh, the person who was uh, in the computer uh, in the class messing with her thing you know the computer thing the little uh, portable thing uh that can be anyone that can be the wired lane or the original lane i'm not so sure now but yeah anyways okay here Mm. this guy starts asking her questions asking her stuff like do you know the knights like you know like 
uh, and you know, then he says something like the knights are trying to do something which should be prevented at all costs and uh, all right now here in the next scene okay we see a few people now just a sec uh, the guy who is trying to get in, into the knights he starts talking about god and asks the people that uh, is god really there in the wired so let me join i want to check it out on my own i believe then he says all of these stuff then some weird picture starts popping up there are three people here okay it's really hazy so i cannot make it up uh, out one guy i think is that guy uh who we saw in the uh what was that uh in the uh in the office who was doing his stuff you know like uh like in her in his laptop and we saw like he was talking with that lady and uh with the logo he also had that logo so we can see that guy here who is in the middle there's a lady to his side who i think is that lady that housewife lady let let's see yeah it's that lady we have a close up okay so um there's another guy on the left hand side you know of the the office guy okay i don't know their names so it's really weird to actually refer to them inconvenient okay the three people to the right there is a, a guy a chubby guy who i think we, i cannot actually figure out his face but i think it's that guy who was like you know eating uh junk food in his house you know, and doing stuff uh, who also had that logo in his computer and most probably that's that guy the guy in the middle is, is that guy in the uh, in the office who was talking to that lady you know he also had that logo in his computer and the lady on the left is the lady who that housewife lady who we saw who also had that logo so most probably uh and the guy here who was talking with them and trying to say that you know like uh take me into the nights he he is saying that you got you came from me okay let me uh like you know let me in let me uh get into the nights so this i think this kind of proves that these three people are the main people of the nights most probably they're like the main top leaders or something so i think so it's not clear completely because they did not like you know clearly or properly tell us that these are the knights they're kind of giving us hints which kind of points in that direction so i think these are the people who are the actual leaders of the knights these three people because there's a lot of hints that actually shows us that okay and then uh we get back to lane and the guy starts asking him her weird questions who is your sister is that your real sister who is your mom who is your dad is that your real mom dad when is your birthday when are their birthday when did your parents get married all that stuff are they your real parents and lane starts freaking out yeah now this is what i was saying like i think that the original lane also has some idea what's going on but she's probably unable to pinpoint it you know her subconscious is kind of warning her but she herself doesn't know what's happening so that's why the like you know uh, the discrepancy i think that's what it's called uh you know the contrast between the situations is making her um freak out because she herself is unable to understand what's happening but her consciousness knows that something is happening so she's freaking out and like kind of like you know like is unable to answer his questions he's and un she's unable to uh, figure out what the birthday is or the all the other stuff and now uh, then she changes you know she changes to the white personality of flame and she starts like you know talking with them and okay okay the guy says if you're here without a device you know that the border between the real world and the wired is starting to crumble don't you and she says so we believe that is dangerous sounds interesting and she goes away and 
the guy stops him okay what's the guy's name car <laughs> the way he calls him car <laughs> oh my god um i think i recognize carl's voice just a sec yeah <laughs> i recognize that voice this is uh koto minakira's voice from uh fate the fate franchise <laughs> boy okay uh anyways so okay so that guy says that she's starting something interesting let's just wait and watch from the sidelines okay and then uh we switch back to the lady you know the uh, housewife lady who like starts playing a game with his son uh, with her son and we see the thing that she got that little thing with the logo kind of burnt i, I i'm unable to understand what this implies I'm not so sure. I'm sure we're going to get more answers about this because this this portion kind of confused me. I was unable to understand what was you know what happened to it. All right. Okay. And now we can get a clear scene of the logo. It has a triangle, a moon, a cross, and a little cubic type of thing in the end. So that's the logo. Okay, and then we see the guy who was actually trying to get into the uh, nice. I think he's dead or something. And that logo is being, like, you know, shown. So that's what we got from this episode. So most probably these three people are the main, uh, like, you know, bosses of the Wired. And, uh, uh, no, no, sorry, not the bosses of the Wired. Sorry, these are the knights, the three people that we saw. And they said something about Lane, if Lane knows something about the knights, if she is uh like you know interconnected with them and the guy actually saw lane's face uh the guy who was trying to get into the knights actually saw lane's face before just a sec where is that you are okay here it is we see the scene he's saying that you were aren't you lane i had no idea yeah this is kind of confusing here like he's asking lane to make him into one of the knights i'm guessing so I don't know, like this, this portion confused, kind of confused me. I'm sure we're going to get more clarification, but the thing that I'm kind of confused about is, uh, I don't think Lane is in, involved with the Knights because she was actually really angry with them in the previous episode. So why is his, her face being shown? And when the guy was actually like, you know, telling the actual Knights to make them into one of them. That's the th thing that's actually confusing me. But yeah, I'm sure we're going to get more answers about that. Like how actually Blaine and the Knights are connected. That like that we don't have a still clear a clear picture of that. All right. Here's one thing that I thought about. This kind of not off topic, but kind of uh, in a tangent. Uh, Lane here. We are actually thinking that the Lane who has the original personality is the one who is very soft spoken. Uh, like you know like shy that lane like I know at least I'm thinking that yeah that's the original lane and the lane in the wire is the well, the other personality or something maybe it's the reverse you know maybe it is actually the reverse that the personality that I don't know this, this, this is such a weird theory that I'm making I doubt is it, it is correct but you know like it'll be kind of interesting if you know there's some kind of a revelation that we actually get where we see that the lane who is in the wired is the actual lane you know who is the original personality and the soft spoken lane that we have always seen is actually a branch of a personality it's, it's like a multiple personality so i don't know it's a real weird type of a thing that i thought about i doubt that is correct because you know like it doesn't seem like it but it will be a real big twist if something like that is happens you know because one thing that is kind of like you know uh bothering me is that uh, why lane this lane the soft spoken lane who are, we are thinking is the original lane was unable to answer any questions about his mo her mom and dad because if she really was the original lane she would have been able to answer the questions 
So it feels as if she has no idea what's happening. She doesn't know who her mom is, who her dad is, when are their birthdays or when is her own birthday? Are they really their mom and dad or not? You know, these questions, she had no answers. If she was the original Lane, I'm sure she would have been able to answer them. So that's why, like, you know, I kind of thought that maybe this Lane that we are thinking is the original Lane is not the original Lane and it's actually a part of the personality. The original Lane is the Lane in the Wired who is like very, what can I say, you know, outspoken and outgoing and, uh, you know, like confident that lane is the original lane. That's why I thought, but I might be completely wrong. I am completely wrong, I think, because I, it doesn't actually seem like that. But, you know, yeah. Anyways, uh, that was just something that I thought. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Serial Experiments Lane episode number um, seven. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below. Anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Serial Experiments Lane. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.